When installing an SQ Flex solar or combi system, first use a compass to find the right direction for the solar modules. In the northern hemisphere, they must face south. In the southern hemisphere, they must face north. Turn the solar modules so the cables are all pointing the same side per row. For both end of a row, use the row closure to finish the section. The switch box IO100 must be installed under the solar modules, shielded from direct sunlight. Installing the pump itself follows the normal procedure for a submersible pump installation. The riser pipe can be a galvanized steel pipe as here, or can be flexible types. Be sure to use watertight cable joints. Close the casing properly to prevent the well from pollution. The cables from the pump are connected to the main switch. The cables from the solar panels are also connected to the same main switch. The order in which they are placed makes no difference. The earth rod must be connected to the frame of the solo array and to the earth terminal in the switch box. Close the box with the on-off switch in the off position. Connect all the cables from the solar modules, red to red and grey to grey. Put the cables into the cable guard between the solar modules. The last unused module cables are closed with the two blind plugs. Close the cable guard with the included ground clips. When all the cable work is finished, start the pumping system by switching the on-off button on. If you use a power generator as a backup source, you must use the switch box IO101. The box must be switched off while the generator is started up. 
The generator is easily connected to the system using the included cable. Plug in the cable to the IO101. Start the generator. Plug in the cable to the generator and switch on the pump. When using a level control switch, you must add the CU200 control box. The level switch is easily connected to the CU200 terminals without any special tools. Close the box. And start the system by pressing the on-off button. When the supplied energy is sufficient, the pump will start working, which you can see on the running LEDs. High level in the water reservoir will automatically tell the pump when to stop. 